The Exifinfusion Skin Closure System combines a polyester mesh with a sticky backing and a 2-octal cyanoacrylate adhesive. Each system ranges in size from 6 cm up to 60 cm in length. Remove the formed tray from the sealed outer bag and aseptically transfer the entire tray to the sterile field. Remove the lid from the tray to access the device components. To begin, remove the mesh patch from the carrier and remove the center section of the release paper backing from the mesh. Hold the mesh by the corners, making sure that the sticky backing is facing downward and can be adhered to the patient's skin. Position the mesh so half of the mesh is on either side of the center line of the incision. A minimum of one centimeter of mesh should extend beyond both ends of the incision. Adhere the mesh to the patient, taking care to rub out any air pockets or creases in the mesh. To remove, pull each of the outer wings down and away from the patient. Should a section of mesh need to be removed and repositioned, that's okay. Once adhered, pull away the outer two pieces of release paper and smooth the mesh for good skin contact. Once the mesh is adhered to the patient, the user should now activate the adhesive in three easy steps. While holding the tube in an upright position, turn the activation chamber in a clockwise direction until snug. Depress the X at the bottom of the tube to release air pressure within the tube. Now we need to prime the device. To do this, turn the tube downward and gently squeeze three drops of adhesive onto the drape or into the trash, but not on the patient. This process will ensure that the adhesive will cure quickly once it's applied to the mesh. Not following this process may cause the mesh to inadvertently release from the patient's skin and not stay in place for the desired period of time. After priming, begin adhesive application at the highest point of the incision. It's important to always keep the applicator tip facing downward so that the adhesive continues to flow. Squeeze the tube with moderate pressure so that the adhesive flows at a steady rate, but not so hard that it runs to unintended areas off of the mesh. This pressure is best represented by the pressure used to prime the device. Cover the entire piece of mesh with the adhesive. Should you run out, Simply open another tube using the same steps and complete the coverage of the mesh. Adding a line of adhesive around the edge of the mesh will also help ensure contact to the skin. Unlike the competition, the Exifinfusion adhesive will polymerize on skin. To extend the length of the mesh by adding a second strip, take care to overlay both ends of the mesh by 2 cm so as to form a straight line where the two strips are joined together. Once adhesive application is complete, Allow the area to remain stable and do not move for 60 seconds. This allows the adhesive and mesh to fully bond to the skin. Once fully cured, a secondary bandage may be applied over the mesh as long as it does not contain a sticky backing, which will result in pulling off the mesh when the secondary bandage is removed. Exif infusion will remain on skin from 14 to 21 days, but is dependent upon patient care of the incision site. Light showering is allowed, but prolonged exposure to water will result in the early release of the polymerized mesh.